Hi, Sagittarius. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you're moving into this week, Sagittarius, you're moving into the Four of Swords energy. There is something that's coming in for you that is so very welcome. There's something here that has brought you a, some sort of strong, powerful relief. You're able to come out of the fear, out of the worry, out of the anxiety, out of the hard work, and move into a place of rest and relief, Sagittarius. Now, are you truly resting? I don't think you're resting, but I think your heart and soul has found peace and comfort. There is something here, Sagittarius, that you have connected to in your life that's pretty damn exciting. It's something that has spurred you into action and created, in whatever way, a new opportunity or a better way or a different version of yourself. And people are in support of this. You have your fans, right? You have your the, the love from the people around you. There is a group of people or a, a certain mindset, but I do feel for most of you, this is feeling the support of family and friends. You're not going on this alone. You're not in this alone. And that is a change because it is hard to, 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 to be in a place of aloneness because these are qualities that you are in relief of. Like this, these are qualities that where you have found a new sense of relief and rest and you're able to come in out of some sort of um, battle that you, your, you and your own self um, were the, the sole defender of something. So there is something here, Ace of Wands, that has you in a new kind of space. It feels good. It's, it's exciting. It could be hard. It could be hard. But hard doesn't matter at this point. What matters is this Four of Swords. What matters is you are able to um, see the victory here. And the victories that you're having in this situation are more than one. The yeah, and, and I've already said what the victories are. Um, support around you and of you and the ability to do this in a way that gives you a new chance at something, a chance to do it better or to do it differently or to recreate something that before just didn't fit it, or it wasn't there or it wasn't time yet. Or the people around you weren't understanding yet and it might have been something that could have been quite a mystery and could be that people are just now starting to understand what this is all about and maybe you're just starting to understand what it what it is all about and what can come of it because i feel like the three of cups is a new type is a new type of support a new sensation or a sensation that you've longed for because what it brings is this is this relief and this peacefulness. And I can't forget there's something new and exciting that you have going on here. I mean, I think as a week goes by, um, you're quite busy. Night of swords coming through. So this is a time of sharing, a time of communication, gathering information, building your thesis, <laughs> writing that book, publicizing something important, marketing. It's a dissemination of information and it's done in a very clear and direct and forward way. 
it's moving into the two of pentacles. It's moving into the two of pentacles. So it's not like this is going to culminate immediately. Like there are days to come and weeks to come where there will be a slow process of improvement and there will be a need to um, probably change this communication or adapt the communication or make even small um, changes to the way that this is being presented from day to day, right? So this, whatever you're doing here could even result on, I mean, I'm just talking here, but it could, it could depend on the audience that you have, the place that you're at, um, the topic that you you're asked to work on, right? It could be so many different things, but I do feel like it is connected to on a day to day basis, making small decisions about what to do with this information, how to share it, what exactly to share, and maybe even how much money you're going to earn something like that. Um, it could be a relationship that you have here. It could be a new project. It could be something that you're really passionate about coming to life, becoming something real could be so many things here, but the Ace of Wands is fire. It's excitement, it's passion, it's action. It's up and out, up and out. Now, as you move through the end of the week, I think you're seeing here that the old kind of experience has really fallen away. And while you might not have felt sure about the situation and you might have questioned it and you could have doubted because there is judgment here, which means that um, in the beginning, it wasn't like this at all. And you went through a process, of a, a process of cleansing and of rebuilding before you really get to this place. And that cleansing and rebuilding can be in itself a very difficult process um, of renewal. And the Ten of Swords is this, is this situation where you are, in a way, like releasing your, releasing yourself from the fight of this, releasing yourself from the hesitation, releasing yourself from your inner braking system that wants to kind of stop and slow down and hesitate and distract and all of those things we can do as we're being pushed into something new. <laughs> Many of us, um, you know, can really wear our brakes out when we're stepping into something new because of all the fears and worries and old things that have happened to us that kind of, kind of come in and, and influence the way our brain is thinking about our future. But I do feel like there's almost like a surrender here, Ten of Swords, like a surrender. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I might be scared. I might be worried. It might be ultimately very painful for me to do this but I'm going to do this. I don't think, Sagittarius, you may not have a lot of choice here. You may not have a lot of choice when the universe moves you forward, when your guides and your angels step on the gas pedal, you're moving forward. And that's how I feel this is going, Sagittarius. Now what's happening is quite inspiring for people. There is strength here. So whatever you're sharing, whatever you're doing, whatever you're writing, um, whatever you have to say, whatever you're marketing or presenting, it is being done in a way that is incredibly interesting to people. Incredibly interesting to people with the Six of Wands. You are being heard. Look at the Six of Wands energy. I mean, there is an audience there. And there is an ability to connect into abundance and to receive what the universe is, is sending down. And to take it and to move with it with confidence, with strength, and the ability to, you know, here's how you might feel on the inside. Here's how you might feel on the inside. The soul takes a while to heal. But the consciousness, the strength that helps us from within can help us to do this. How many of us do this every day? How many of us step into our fear, step into our discomfort, and surrender to what life has given us, and take it, and flow with it, and shine, 
and allow our humanity and our consciousness and our willpower to lead us forward. It's beautiful. And I know this is just a weekly reading, Sagittarius. And I know I'm being dramatic because this is the only energy I have here. I don't have any of the other energy around you. Your household chores, the love that's in your life, you know, whatever this, you know, what what are all the things happening around your children, you know, a challenge that's going on otherwise. I'm just feeling this. So this could be something that's much more minor than I'm saying. Um but for some of you, this is as deep as, as you're feeling it, too. As you're moving out of this week, um, out towards the end of this week, um, it's kind of an interesting, it, this line is quite interesting. Because deep within, you could have some hurt, you could have some resentment, you could have still the feelings of injustice swirling through you. On the outside and to others, you could be a shining light. But within, you have this need to also protect, to guard, to nurture, to keep your calm, to keep it in you. To not give it away too much, to manage the power, to manage the strength. And there could be a time here, Sagittarius, where you're really strong, you're really in the limelight, you're really stepping up, and then you kind of disappear again. And I do feel like that's how it's going to be this week. There's something strong and, and, and important that's going forward in a communication. It's requiring you to be very real and public and brave but then you're kind of allowed to protect yourself one again, once again. Because when we're in the Six of Wands, we're very open. We're very opened up. But I feel like after this, this situation, you can then again, um, per, like close yourself off just a little bit and, and return to this Four of Swords. I, I believe that's kind of what's happening here. Wow. Let's go into the Six of Wands. I'm just really curious about what this is, the Six of Wands. Uh, and in the extended, I'll dig into a bunch of these. There's so many, in, there's so much information. These cards are full, this store, it's just full. Um, but let's go into the Six of Wands and see what it is that that's happening here with the Six of Wands. Please help us find, get more information about this specific Six of Wands. The specific Six of Wands, help us understand this. Let's understand this. Let's understand this. I mean, there could be a presentation that you have to make. There could be a hard discussion that you're looking to have. Um, it could be a series of events, like every day you have one of these things happening. The, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands are connected into this Two of Pentacles. So it just feels like every day there might be something that you're doing or some sort of chore that you're doing that that is a way of sharing information, a way of putting yourself out there, but it's hard and it comes from a place, uh, um, it, it comes from um, a soul that has overcome hardship and is still somewhat wounded and is kind of resigning them selves to this situation, realizing that it could be different every day, but it seems like you are able to come back though and, and nurture yourself after that. That's how it's going to feel this week. Um, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles has come out. I mean, I think you're doing this because it's required of you. I think you're doing it because it's required of you. It's something that you're, you value and you're holding on to it. You don't want anyone else to do it. That's for sure. You don't want anyone else to do it. This is for you. It is something that is helping you to survive. It's helping to maintain a sense of, it is helping you to maintain the reality of survival. 
It comes with its intensity. It comes, you look at the Ten of Swords, the Devil energy. It comes with this intensity. It could have fear interwoven in it. This is what we're calling out. The strength of human beings is just incredible how strong we are and how much we, how much burden we carry within us. And we're still so damn strong, Sagittarius. I have to say, Sag, I don't know if this is a normal Sagittarius um, kind of, I, I'm not sure, Sag. I know you have the Ace of Wands and there's something really exciting here and you do have support and you are able to um, do this in a better way and it is bringing in a new version of yourself. We can see that. But I'm not sure, I, I don't really, I, there could there there are just as many challenges as there are, there, there are just as many pros as there are cons, there are just as many cons as there are pros here. This, in a way, is going to be a neutral experience because um, you're still healing and recovering from something here. And judgment energy and creating a new version and doing it differently is hard. It is hard. But then again... Look at this beautiful strength you have here, and it is doing something to to help you. It is. And I do think for many of you Sagittarius, it's a requirement. It's a requirement in many ways. I want to go into the devil energy quickly here. I know it's a clarifier. Let's just clarify the clarifier. Let's see how deep um, spirit will let us go on this one. Ace of swords flipping over. Three of Swords, pain, hardship, anxiety, worry, deep concern. Yeah, all those elements are here. But look at you go. Look at you go. There we go. There we go. All right, my friends, thank you for being here. Wishing you uh, a good week this week and um, stay healthy. All right, thanks.